Okay, folks, so I'm going to tie a wee hopper pattern. The hook I have in the vise is a size 12 lightweight hook. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is Uni Thread 80 in Fire Orange. So I'm just going to come in and get the thread started behind the eye of the hook. And just knock on a few turns of the thread and close touching turns. Right, I'm going to bring my thread down until I'm slightly past the, the point of the hook and just remove the waist tag of thread. Now, the rib on the fly is going to be Pearl Tinsel, Ace Blue Pearl by UTC and this is a medium tinsel. So I'm just taking the length of that off the spool and then I'm just going to tie this in. Now we don't need to be too fussy when I'm down open turns at this stage, the body's going to be dubbed. Now the dubbing that I'm going to put on is Fairy Brown and it's just a genuine Fairy Brown seals fur from Vanyard. So I'll just come in, get my seals fur of a pinch here in my desk. And then I'm just going to dub this on. Now, put plenty of seals fur on because you want to try and brush it out. Just small pinches to get your seals fur started. One pinch on, more pinch at the bottom. And then just take it the one way. And then we can get it up onto the hook. And then we can really tighten down if we need to. Do you want to double on the flex? You want to be able to brush it out. Now, don't worry if you see any of the orange thread. The fish won't mind. So just take it to there. Anything that's going forward. I'm just going to stroke it back and bring my thread in front. Now before I bring the tinsel up the rib of the body, I like to get a couple of turns at the back of the hook. Just to create a wee tag. And then I'll bring up I'll rib the body then with the tinsel around about four times. To there, keeping hold of the tinsel, fly it around with my thread, and then just come in with a couple of tight turns to secure that off. And I'll just trim away the excess tinsel. Now I'm just going to come in with my Velcro on an Olipop stick. That's got to be the cheapest dubbing brush in the world. <laughs> most the most most enjoyable. You get the other Olipop. Anyway, just come in and just brush out some of your, your seals for Just want to stroke some of this back now. Get it all sitting nice and back. Right, I'm going to put some legs on the fly. And this is just pre-knotted pheasant tail legs. So I'm just going to come in and get myself three for each side. I'll just tear them off the the stem. I'm just going to get them separated on three down each side. Now you can put them up, put your pre natal pheasant tail legs up, you can put them down, it's it's personal choice, it's up to you. I just like to lash mine onto the side. So I'll just come around with a couple of loose turns. Now that one moved on me, it's no big deal, just bring it back round. And then I'm just going to pull these in the length that I like. And I'm just going to check. Okay, that's perfect for me. They're just slightly past the bend of the hook. And that's the way I like mine. So I'm just going to come in and tighten up now at this stage. And then I'm just going to come in and trim away the access of the pheasant tail. And then I'm just going to bring my thread down, tying over the cutting ends. There's many hangles you can use at the front of the fly here. It's up to you. I'm just going to use this furnace haggle. This is just a cock haggle and furnace. I'm just going to come in and get one that I like. There's one there. I'm just going to stroke back the favours on the stem to reveal the tip. Come in a couple of turns to catch in the tip. I'm going to fold it back. And then just bring my thread back up over the tip and the haggle. Now the turns at the front are as up to yourself, personal preference again. Just come in with my scissors and just gonna stroke these fibers back. Um some people like them spar, some people like them heavy, but 
I'm just going to use up the full haggle at the front. I like mine a wee bit heavy. You dress yours the way you like. So just simply bring one turn round in front of the other. Now you can kink this wee fly up. Face it as a dry, or you can face it subsurface. Just whatever way the whatever zone the the fascia are feeding in. So I'm gonna bring it to there. Then I'm gonna hold my stem of the haggle. I'm just gonna file it around with the thread. Come in, get one turn in the hold, then a couple of turns to secure. Okay, then I wanna fold everything back, keeping my thread really tight. And then I'm just going to come up over the top of the, the stem of the haggle. Just tan that in and creating a, a nice wee coloured head on the fly. So that's part of the fly too, the head. Now I'm just going to keep the thread tight. I'm just going to come in and break away the haggle. Still keeping my thread tight, I'm going to come in with a whip finishing tool. And just throw in a, a whip finish. Put your thread nice and tight and just come in and trim the thread away. Now, first coat, super glue, or sorry, not super glue, varnish. Varnish, not super glue, this is varnish. So, I'm just going to come in and dab the head. I had left it the super glue there first. Don't know what I was thinking. Anyway. I'd probably stick another coat of varnish on that now. Don't worry if there's any of that that has went into the eye. But a waste wire here in my desk. I'll just come in. I'll just clean the eye out. Now, like I said at the start of the video, well, that's the wee fly finish for a start. But like I said at the start of the video, these come in many, many colour combinations. And to the best of my knowledge, they all work. So, look, give that wee fly a go. And hopefully I can catch you a few fish.